Hello everybody, this is the Rabbit Hedgehog and this is, uh, well, familiar. This is the 2016 Harley-Davidson Fat Bob motorcycle. Uh, this is a bike I have, except I have a 15. Uh, what they did different in 2016 is that they put the high output 103 on here. So because of that, I wanted to go ahead and take it out for a ride to answer a nagging question in my head. Is it much different? So that way anybody who purchased one of these bikes before, you know, can answer that question themselves as well. So far, to be honest, it feels exactly the same. I don't feel any difference at all in this bike. You know, but I know it's a familiar bike to me. It's a bike that I've ridden many times. The only thing they've done this year, like I said, is the 103 high output versus the one that I have, the standard 103. They also have uh, some slightly different um, devices here on the switch gear. They actually just have symbols now. They don't have the symbol with the wording on there, so they changed the way that looks, which is okay. Engine braking and everything is as expected. This is exactly the same bike I've got, so what else am I going to expect? Oh, it's the same. I mean, to me, it's the exact same. So, you know, when it comes down to it, I know everybody that purchased Harley Davidson's in this last year, especially when they announced it, the end part of it, that, hey, we're changing these things up. We're going to give them more power. We're going to put the 103 high output into it. We're going to do this. You know, that's just the thing. There's no reason to worry. There really isn't. Um, there's not much of a difference between the two models at all in terms of the way they feel. I mean, to me, the power is just as much the same as it used to be. Power is just the same. Shifting's the same. Everything's pretty much the same. You can still quick shift the tar out of these things. I mean, the transmission's just as accurate, feels just as clean, just as sharp. I mean, so when it comes down to it, if you bought one of these in the end of 2015 and went, ah, oh, crap, they gave it a better engine. You know, that's how I felt. Ah, oh, come on, why would they do such a thing? Why'd they give it more power? You know, why did they do that to us? We just bought one of these. Why didn't they say anything? Why didn't they give us a heads up so we could wait, you know, for a couple more months? Don't worry about it. You know, these, these fat bobs and the other bikes that they put the 103 into, that's the high output versus the standard, it's no biggie. I mean, it really doesn't feel any different at all to me. Uh, it, it goes us just as much as mine does, at least. Uh, and, I mean, the only thing that they really did any different was, was like the Softail Slim. You get the Softail Slim S, and that particular bike actually has the... Uh, uh, 110 in it actually so that one that one would have a sizable difference because I did feel quite a bit of a difference within the 110 uh, versus the uh, standard 103 so there's definitely a big difference between the 110 and the 103 but when it comes down to it no worries about this bike if you purchased one no worries about if you purchased any of the others I know the street bob was left alone but most of the dinos received the 103 high output option and those were you know the low riders and things like that there's no reason to worry folks so I just wanted to put your mind at ease if you purchase one of these uh, you could probably get more power out of them anyway if you decided to go ahead and do some trickery to the engine you know and just get as much power or you know whatever or more even you know out of this 103 so at any rate this is the rabbit hedgehog and this is the honest take on the 2016 fat bob uh, no difference really between the two no sizable power difference it's any at least i can't feel a difference you know so and i've ridden mine over 3,000 miles so i definitely know how they feel and what they do keep the shine side up folks have a good one